The forest was silent after the fox attack that had occurred days before. Every warrior was on edge since it is unknown if the foxes left the territory or will come back for another attack. Apple Spice has been busy caring for the cats who were attacked by the fox that weren't lucky enough to get unscratched like Windpaw. She was up all night watching Smoke Kit since Tiny Sun and Oak Paw showed signs of recovering while the small kit seemed to be in the same condition as when his mother brought him in. Apple Spice rested in front of the trembling blue kit, brushing snowflakes off his pelt when they piled up. She did her best as a medicine cat to watch her patients, but the snow was getting to her. I'm going to catch green cough if I continue like this. Apple Spice brushed piling snow off of Smoke Kit's pelt again, making the kit turn over, facing her with his flat face pressed against the moss bed. Apple Spice, meowed a familiar voice that made the medicine cat's pelt itch with annoyance. What is it, Dust Tail? Can't you see I'm busy? The missing kid growled, looking over her shoulder at the black and brown warrior, seeing his emotionless yellow eyes. Dust Tail patted toward the medicine cat, but stopped in his place when he saw her red ears trembling and her tail wrapped tightly around herself. Are you cold? He asked, narrowing his eyes seriously. Apple Spice snapped her neck around. Of course I'm cold! She hissed. I have been sitting in this snow since dawn. Someone needs to patch up the top of the medicine cat then. Dust Tail blinked, not really surprised the medicine cat snapped at him, but that she actually told him what was wrong when she usually was too proud. Whenever the Tom was in the medicine cat then, she would try to stir up conversation with him, but he'd always dismiss her. Dust Tail wasn't really a talkative, friendly type. However, today he had a reason for why he was talking to the medicine cat. Apple Spice turned back Smoke Kid once he let out a distressed meow. The gender she cat quickly bent down and licked his head confidently. While she was comforting the kit, she didn't notice Dusto had moved beside her until he pressed his pelt against hers. She pulled back in surprise, looking at Dusto with a questioning expression. The warrior simply meowed, I cannot let my medicine cat freeze to death. Apple Spice rolled her eyes. And how am I your medicine cat? She asked in a whisper, making sure no not to wake Smoke Kid once more. Does tell me out. How many times have I gotten sick since I joined Woodkillan? He asked. More than I could count. Apple Spice muttered, letting the Tom's worm consume her. I sure remember the maid Tom's he visited the medicine cat then. Back at the barn, no cat would have helped me like how you do. And I don't say this a lot, so don't get used to it. But thank you. Does tell so quietly, stiffening beside the she cat. I was surprised that a tiny smile slipped from her lips, but returned to her blank expression. You're welcome, but there is no need to thank me. I'm only doing what other medicine cats would have done for their clanmates. Dustel looked slowly down on Smoke Kit. Is he going to live? He asked, quickly changing the subject onto the kit. The gender she cat was silent. The only thing that could be heard was Smoke Kit's steady breathing and Tyson snoring. She flicked her tail, signaling Dustel to follow her as they walked to the other side of the den. I don't know. Even if he does live, I'm unsure if you'll be able to work as a normal apprentice. Apple Spice meowed quietly, not letting her emotions affect her voice. The warrior in front of her said nothing, but stared back at the sleeping kit. Well, if he dies, it will be on you, Dust Tail said bluntly, his words piercing Apple Spice's heart like icicles. As a medicine cat, I thought you were responsible for the lives of our future warriors. I am responsible! She hissed, her ears flattening on her head, while her green eyes fiercely glaring at Dustail. Slowly, she glanced over Dustail's shoulder to see Smoke Kit, who had more snowflakes on his cobwebbed body. Her next words came out into a whisper. That's why it hurts. I never felt this useless since my mentor disappeared. I never felt so helpless. Apple Spice pulled away from Dust Tail and headed to where she placed her herbs along along the stony wall. Leave my den now, Dust Tail! She hissed, gla- glaring at the warrior. Dust Tail snorted. Fine, freeze then. Don't be mad because I was blunt with you. I'm not like these other toothless fools. I keep things short and sour. Before Apple Spice could spit a sting report back at the Tom, he was already gone. What a fox heart! Apple Spice heard Tiny Sun mutter before b- being hushed by Oak Paw. Apple Spice pretended to be checking her herbs, her herb supply, hiding her sad expression. 
Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is KSEP Gaming here, and we are back with another episode of The Sims 3 Warrior Cats Challenge. And we are back with the sad little Apple Spice who got, you know, kind of told off and got her feelings hurt by Dust Tail. Well, we're gonna go on in. But, I just before, like, before we jump into the thing, I want to show y'all guys something that I'm, I'm so proud of myself for doing. And you're like, why, 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 what did you do? And you're probably thinking, what in the world, why are there, why is there a floating, why are flowing rocks? Well, I hate, and I bet another, a couple of you, a couple other of you hate it too. I hate when the snow makes it unable for them to get into their nest. So, I, I put, I, I use special, I use pillars, and I put like a floor above. I put a floor above all the dens. So here's the medicine cat den. So now it looks more like an actual den, even though like you ignore the floors. It's, it looks more like an actual an actual den now. And I did the same thing. Hold on, let me fix the Let me fix the thingy. Oh crap, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Um oh look it's cute little thorn paw. I need to have all the cats on today. Um Okay, so I did I did it to the medicine cat then I did it to oh my god. Let me do a lot more. I did it to the leaders den as you can see. See, isn't it cool? Like now there won't be like so much snow in the um in the dens. There's still gonna be like a little bit little bit of snow falling through, but you know they'll they'll be okay. And I think all oh, this is like so cool. I did it to the warrior's den. Look at the warrior's den. It's actually a den now. I feel so proud of myself. I had no idea how to do it. And then I'm like, wait a minute. I have pillar pillars. And if I delete the pillars, then I can I can still have like the floor on top. So me, I, I, um, I, I went on and did that. So it would be easier for them to get into their, into their nest. And if you want me to make a video how to do that, leave a comment down below. And I will make a video on how I did it. You could probably do much better than me. Like, seriously. And, um... It, but it did kind of bother me how the dens were just... Not even dens. Like, it was just, like, bushes surrounded... Bushes and rocks surrounded one area. So, you know, I kind of liked how I could put a roof on top. Because, you know, in the forest... Don't don't question this. There's, this is, like, a, a more like a stony, bushy den. I need to fix this. Because it's still a little bit messy. Like, I, as soon as I made it, I'm like, oh my god, finally I'm done. Because it took me a while. Oh, a little lavender kit is in the nursery. But she's not going to be in there for long. Because, um, it's, it's about time for them to become apprentices. Well, it's about time for her to become an apprentice. Smoke kids probably can be held back a little bit. Because, you know, being attacked by a fox and all. And, um, here is the apprentice's den. Like, I'm, like, so proud of myself. I love it. Like, I didn't change anything in the princess then. Except, you know, maybe I added, I think I added another nest. But, um, we're, we'll have a, a ceremony for Lavender Kit soon. Um, and look, oh, is that? Oh, yeah, um, Snowstorm's been training her apprentice lately. And Night, Night Watcher has been kind of to himself lately. And I kind of think he's been to himself because, you know, his frenemy, Tiny Sun, is in the um, medicine cat den. So he doesn't really have anyone else to talk to. But I think he wants to talk to Apple Spice. Oh, no, he wants to sniff. He wants to sniff Snowstorm. I think Snowstorm wants to talk to him. No, no, Nightwatch. I know you probably miss being in a barn because it's like freezing your marbles out here. But, um, you gotta, you gotta eat, you know, fresh prey. But, um... Back to the cutscene. What happened in the cutscene? Oh, poor little Apple Spice. Like, does tell so mean. And but it is that mean is one of his traits, but um another one of his traits is mischief. And um Um you may think when you first saw the cutscene, like, oh my god, he's so mean, but does tell had his own personal reasons why he Talk to Apple Spice. So he doesn't really like any other other she cats in the um camp except you know 
um, Blue Dream, but Blue Dream's kind of spoken for with Amber Star. And so he's kind of, you know, going to talk to Apple Spice. He, and I think he's gonna, even though he's a very mean cat, I kind of think he's he's going to try to um, get, be mates with Ap- Apple Spice. And I know you're thinking, what? That's against the medicine cat code. He can't do that. Well, this is a whole new warrior cat's, um, a whole new warrior cat's thing. Like, there's no... Right, there's a medicine cat's code, but that's not in the medicine cat's code. Like, this isn't Thunder Clan, Wind Clan, Shadow Clan, Sky Clan. This, these are, you know, oh yeah, and River Clan. These are different. These are um different cats, different cats and different clans. So they don't have the exact same rules. So, does tell, kind of he kind of wants to get back at Amber Star for being so close to Blue Dream and kind of taking him away from her. So he's trying to, you know, kind of get with Apple Spice. And he's going at it all the wrong way. You know how some guys, they think if they lower a woman's self-esteem, if they lower it, then she'll be, like, so low enough that she'll, die, she'll go out with them, which is stupid. But that's what Dust Tail thinks, and that's what he's trying to do. Oh. Hey, look, Blue Dream's here. Do you want to talk? No, I don't think he... Maybe you should go and hunt, because there's... You should go and hunt, cause you're gay. You kind of annoyed me when you um. You kind of annoyed me when you. When you hurt Apple Spice's feelings, and well, Amber, so why don't you come over here and kind of go over here and be friendly towards. Be friendly towards um Blue Jean. Look, she's looking. Like, she thought he was going to come over and talk to her, but she sees that he's kind of drifting away a bit. Excuse me, I burped. I ate, I ate like, an omelet before I started recording. So the entire time, I was like, it, ugh. It was just too much for me. Oh, look at cute. Even though she's, like, you know, deep in the snow, she looks still looks cute. Um, here, come over here and just talk to her. What is your relationship with her? Is it high? It's probably not high. Yeah, we need to get you and her to, you know, become, at least be friends. Because right now she's really annoyed of him. And, um, Amber Star, he's, after he does all that, he needs to, you know, think about, he needs to think about what's going to happen when the, um, well, and just in case the the foxes do come back, where's there's you want to talk to your apprentice, but because they they've been hunt they've hunt a lot they've been hunting a lot. They were hunt they caught so much prey during the recording, and there goes his little bite. That was adorable. Where's little bee people? Oh, she's over here scratching. Why don't you come over here and um come over here and love. And um, get show her some mentor affection. Oh, he wants to become friends, um, best friends with her, socialize with her, and um, probably come and see and make sure she's okay because she has been pretty distant from the clan because you know what happened to um. Oh, she has a red assassin beetle. She needs to give that to Apple Spice. Maybe that'll make Apple Spice better. But, um, oh, he's at one, too. But I think, I think he'd actually give that to his brother. For reasons that I shall not tell you just yet. But is he, scr- is he scratching this? Alright, then, um, Windfall, how will, where are you? Are you at, uh, back at camp? Because I think they're at the, um, the Hidden Meadow. I don't even know what to call this place. It may be the Hidden Meadow, it may not be. Uh, where's yeah? He's he's back. He's back at camp. Yeah. And then to try, hmm. cause I think Snowstorm and Hazelpaw are training, so I don't think he can talk to them right now at the moment. Oh, he can. Oh, what about Honeypaw? Go bother Honeypaw. Cause Honeypaw has Honeypaw's kind of you know, she's been a bit you know lonely. Like she doesn't get. As much 
attention f um, as she does, as other cats do from the other, um, from the other, uh, the cutscenes especially. I don't think she has gotten a cutscene yet. Except for that one time when Beepaw showed up, I think that was like her little shine. Like that time when, um, was it Brenda Fire? Yeah, Brenda Fire got kind of stuck. He got stung by a jellyfish here. Go over here and talk to her. I don't know what just happened, but something that, that that's not a good sound. That's not a good sound. And Night Watcher. Uh, why don't you go over and, you know, bother Snowstorm. Well, no, she's... Oh, uh, she does want to talk to him, and she also wants to talk to Amber Star. Mm. Let's have her go and talk to Night Watcher, because... Maybe she's gonna ask him. Cause, yeah, because they see each other. They're looking at each other. Hmm. That's interesting. Here, go and talk to him. Well, he's looking at her because, you know, Snowstorm's blind, so she can't really see. But I bet she can feel his eyes on her. And she's gonna go take a lucky. Or maybe, or maybe she's gonna ask him what does he think about if, she, if he can help her with them um, training Hazelpaw. Um, Hazel Paul, why don't you go and try to track something in the snow? Oh my god, Tardy, Tardy to Max Lucy Danger. I seriously need to play more in Sims 3. Because I've been playing a lot of Sims 4 lately. I know some of you are like, what, you've been playing Sims 4? You haven't been recording it? Well, I don't know if I should, like, record it, because Sims 4, um, I, and I have, like, uh, I had to take like a lot of mods out of it because some of the mods on there are inappropriate. And when I say so, a lot of mods, I mean like one base mod, and that's like um, wicked, wicked, blah, blah, wicked whims. And if so, if you don't know what that is, don't. You don't need to know what it is. You don't. You don't want to know. I put it in because I thought I'm like, hey, this this seems, this seems interesting. I I, I like to you know mingle a little. I like to get crazy. Then, like, as soon as I put it in, I immediately regret it. I can't... You can't be flirty with someone without... You can't be flirty with someone without woohooing in. It's not like the normal animation woohooing. It's like, uh... You, you, you don't want to see. You don't want to know, children. But, um, uh, look. I wonder if, I wonder if Honeyball... I have this small theory of Honeyball, but I don't think Thornpaw knows. But I have a small theory that Honeypaw is gay. I think Honeypaw is um, a lesbian. I think she likes. I think she likes she cats. And why do you think? I think that. Oh, I just get like this vibe from her that she doesn't. She's not a big. She doesn't like Toms. Cause she doesn't seem to be close to any other Tom except her brother. And um, Brindlefire. But maybe but um, Brindlefire is her uncle. But who? Who knows? You know in the Warrior Cats, like, it doesn't matter with Ken. And she knows that Brenda Fire is pretty much in love with Ashfoot. Oh, I can't even have you hunt because... Tyson, I can't even have you hunt. You should even be out of the medicine cat then, but... Here, why don't you go talk to your sister? I still haven't changed her shy trait. But did I? Yeah, I changed her shy trait. I think that was b -paw shy trait. Oh, look at her. She's. I expected her like to get up and to move and do stuff, but she's just sitting there. Like I don't. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to go out today. Here. Uh, we're gonna have her talk to her sister because Tyson heard everything, and Tyson is gonna try to comfort her sister. He's like, oh, it's okay. And she looks like she wants to play with Thorn Paul and Win and Win Paul and Sniff and Sniff Little Lavender Kit. But I feel like right now she's gonna want to be with her sister. And Lavender Kit, is it time for you to grow up? I thought I fixed your little age thing. Uh so when Smoke Kit ages up, I'll just you know, age her up. Smoke Kit, what are you doing out of, out of the ner out of the What are you doing? Oh, you're, you're scratching. Please get back to the medicine cat den. I know you got to scratch. We need to move like a scratching post into the medicine cat den so the patients don't have to get up and leave. Oh, I'm like so happy that we I finally 
I finally fixed the problem with the snow being making making it hard for them to get into the nest. Yeah, go go here with your sister. Bring your sister in here. We can say that maybe he he you know woke up and he's more. He woke up and he snuck out. He snuck out to go get his sister. Like I did, I know I did say that he's still in the same condition, but his leg, his front legs haven't been really affected, so he's kind of like dragging himself out. He's a very strong kid, and he was already close to being a med, uh, not a medicine cat, an apprentice. So I'm pretty sure, like he's, he's already kind of, you know. Oh, look at that. I need to take a picture. Even though, like, you're covered in blood, I need to go in and take that off. Uh, no, 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 that's not even that. I need to get down. Oh, my God. It's like she's trying to talk to her, like, talk to me. Like, Apple Spice, talk to me. And Apple Spice is like, no. It's, no, I, I don't feel like it. I don't want to go outside today. I want to stay inside the stand and be, and be miserable for the rest of my life. That's not healthy, Apple Spice. I don't care. <laughs> that sounds like me. <laughs> Rindy, come outside. No. But it's such a lovely day outside. I want to stay inside and be miserable. Oh my god. Look at that little cute butt. I wish you could have I wish there was like a, um, a cobwebs thing. You know how like you can have like, you can put shirts and, and ribbons on um, Cats in the Sims 3 and, and you know, I'll, I'd show you it. I'll show you it um, whenever I do a whenever I do a um, let's create this cat or that cat which I'm going to do be doing soon because I'm going to be making a different uh, I, need, I can't spoil it for you. It's, it's too it's too awesome. It's just too awesome. Opa um oh uh, yeah Apple Spice wants to talk to Opa yeah, look at this old Paul. He wants to sniff Brindle Fire and he wants to boost his hunting skill. Of course you want to do that. How are you doing, Ashfoot? Ashfoot, are you over there too? Oh, man, I forgot. I'm sorry. Here, try to hunt. I feel so bad for Ashfoot because Brindle Fire is trying to convince her that she's a... She was made to be a warrior, and so he's taking her out on all these, like, boy, all these patrols, all these hunting patrols and border mark patrols, and she just wants to be, like, in the den with Apple Spice to, you know, help the kids, but he wants her to be out with him, which is kind of sad and kind of cute at the same time. But, um, let's let, um, he'll, he'll get along his, his, um, apprentice fine. Um, let me go ahead and uh, there's some stuff in um Apple Spice's inventory that she needs to go in and put down. Whoa, she has a lot of stuff in here. Oh, she needs to pee, um she needs to scratch it, she needs to pee. Let's pee first and then scratch that rock. Um I, I feel like she's interrupt her sister be like, I need to go, I need to pee. Like, but, um, well, she has a lot of red assassin beetles. Oh my god, she has a spotted beetle. When did you get that? Because I used one spotted beetle to, um, save Smoke Kit's life. Wow, um, yeah, because I remember using one spotted beetle to save Smoke Kit's life. Oh, there's a lot of basil. Are those basil seeds or is it like actual basil? Oh, it's basil. That's good for coughs. Okay, so we're gonna... Okay, here's a basil seed. She's gonna have to start... We're gonna have to give these seeds... When it turns um, green leaf... I mean, new leaf, we're gonna have to give these seeds to... um To Sunny. Sunny, what are you doing? You're just, you're just resting in your thing. Hang holiday lights. There's no- you can't hang them anywhere. I'm sorry. Thorn Paul, what are you doing? Ugh. I need to keep a good eye on you, Thorn Paul. Ignore the two leg. That's- we're not gonna count them. I- I keep- I remember- I- Ugh, I think I turn it off. 
I keep thinking that I'm turning it off, but I don't. Like, it just stays... They, they keep coming. Like, this... We're not gonna count her as a... As a, you know, a really a threat. What are you doing? I thought you were gonna go into... The, when are, when are you gonna you know, age up? I think he ate, they age up at eight. Cause I really want to see like what he looks like. I really want to see like what he's going to look like. Cause I kind of, I bent his ears a lot. I bent them like so terribly that they really do look disfigured. Here, you need to stop. Oh, oh look, he wants to sniff Blue Dream and sniff Amber Star. Oh my God, he wants to sniff Blue Dream and Amber Star. Oh my god. Oh my god, and he's right there. <laughs> he's like, I want to sniff both of them. Oh my god, I want to let him do that. I want to let him kind of interrupt them. And sniff her. And then sniff him. That's freaking hilarious. But does tell- he's not a bad looking cat. But, um... It's just that, I guess, Amberstar has more of a charm, wait. The freaking, what's in the way? Like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to click him, but he won't let me. It's like, it just shows up scratch. Like, it's pretty, you know, makes sense, because, you know, he's trying to, he's getting in the way of, um, Dusttail, and Dusttail's, um, love interest, but mm, there's no need to scratch him, gosh. Oh, look at little Lavender Kid. Oh, uh, look at little smoke kit. You can see his, you can see his injuries more clear now. Like, look at his little ears, his little folded. E when they're not folded, his little torn ears. And I feel like once he grows up, I'm gonna, in the next episode, they should, they shouldn't be all red and bloody anymore. I think I like, I overdid it. So I'm gonna um, probably take it off, and I'm probably gonna have like maybe cobwebs on him. Maybe cobwebs on her. I always have scars on her and scars on him. And definitely scars on Oakpaw. Oakpaw, what are you doing? Oakpaw, you can't hunt. No, Oakpaw, I'm sorry. You can't hunt. I'm sorry, Oakpaw. Oakpaw, please stop. Oakpaw? Oakpaw. It's not like you're saying Opa. Here, why don't you just sit in here and you just groom yourself? He's like, oh, I, I can't be in here. There's kids in here. Oh. Just gear and groom yourself. Don't worry, I'll have um Beepaw come back so she can bother you. She is over here with um her mentor at the moment though. Come on, it's getting well it's it's four. It's not getting dark, but we're gonna have we'll have um Brenda Fire lead lead his patrol back to camp. And he's probably asking her if she's okay. Because that was a very crazy, you know, that was a very crazy thing that happened. So I'm not, I wouldn't be really surprised if that kind of, you know, scarred her. I'm sorry, you're going to have to pee, like, right there. Gonna... Stop talking to your sister here, just, just pee. Oh, look at, they can't play, but I'm, I'm guessing his sister would try to, try to comfort him. Cause you know it's it's just been you know the two of them. Oh my god, I love them. I love her eyes and I love her coat color. She's like a really milky. She's like a, like a milky um blue. I think and that's probably why um, Blue Dream loves her so much because she reminds her of her own kit, her last kit. I mean, and Blue Dream doesn't have any more kits because her kits died. And if you want to know how her kids died, you should go down, go down in the description below and join my amino because I put, I put a lot of their their backstories on there. But um, yeah, it wasn't pretty. Or blue dream, it's probably blue dream. So is tries to distance herself from having kids again, having a mate again, and loving anyone again. Oh, come and come and love your brother. I can't. I can't wait until they're apprentices because then when they go to gathering, <gasps> just imagine, imagine, um, just imagine uh, how, um, what was his name, Jay Fur would act. 
because he is because one his he's gonna be seeing his kids for the very first time and they're gonna look exactly like him and so he's going to like have a panic attack because of that like oh my god you look exactly like me and he's gonna faint oh hazel paul cut a warm run oh good job hazel paul um and then he's gonna see that his son his son has his his pelt torn, his ears are torn. He's gonna be like, "What happened?" And they're gonna be like, "Oh, I was just attacked by a fox, you know, the everyday warrior life." And um, so yeah, that's that's gonna be interesting. Oh my god, I love Lavender Kit so much. I can't wait until like she grows, she grows up. Like she's gonna be so pretty. I'm like already in love with her. But she's so cute. And I kind of think her. I already think. I already know who our mentor is going to be. And I bet you guys know too. It's definitely going to be Blue Dream. Because we all know Amber Star is going to do anything and everything to impress. Well, not impress, too. Oh, did he just. Did he just catch that bird? Oh, yeah, he caught a bird. Well, that doesn't impress, uh, um, that doesn't impress, um, anyone, I don't know what does. Wait, 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 And he needs to pee. I told you to pee! <sighs> We're gonna have to, um, man. It'd be so much easier, like the thing didn't change when they had to pee, but I'm not gonna roll it for when they have to pee, unless they're elders, because when, you know, when a cat, when an elder has, like, trouble peeing, when a cat has, like, an elder cat has trouble peeing, like, you know there's something wrong with them, but I'm pretty sure these young cats are just holding it, because they want to fight. And he needs to sleep. Ashfoot caught, did you catch a, oh, she got a warm rat. Uh, warriors then. We're gonna have him go in here and sleep. After he goes and kind of here, make sure you make sure you talk to Apple Spice. This day was like supposed to revolve around Apple Spice, but it seems like it was re kind of revolve around everyone. But you know, after being attacked by a fox, like you do wonder like what everyone has to think. Everyone has to say. Here, nuzzle her. We should have like moss balls in the ear. Cause we're gonna have to. Bring the fire's gonna have to bring you all back to camp. Why have you not talked to her? Like you're right there in front of her face. Like have you talked to her? Oh yeah, you have. You're gonna have to like return to camp though. You're gonna have to return to camp. Bring her back. Go here with Ashfoot, B Paw, and Windpaw. Yeah, Windpaw's just a big a big muffin top. I love him. He's adorable. When Windpaw's like um the flip flop of Windpaw, I kind of get that oh my god, did she just his Nope, I don't think she hissed at- I think she's hissing at both of them because she- I bet they're like giving each other like these death stares like you better not talk to her type of look. And so she hisses at both of them to stop acting like kids. Oh, Hazel Paul is feeling lonely here. Are you- what are you- are you still talking to her? Oh, look at little Hazel Paul. Um, why don't you, uh, who, who, here, here, go, go talk to Hazelball. I bet, I bet, I definitely bet Honey Paul would take notice that her den mate is kind of drooping her tail while she goes out and hunts. I still don't understand why this shows up black, but you know what, no oh well. We're gonna have we're gonna have Night Watcher go to sleep. 
Um, he's about stop hunting. Scratch later. Pee now. Scratch later. Cause scratch doesn't really scratch doesn't really you know affect anything. If you don't scratch, it doesn't really affect anything. And you, sir, pee. Then scratch. I think you can scratch this. Yeah, then scratch. I can't wait until New Leaf. Like, I made it eat more easier to deal with the snow, but it's still very, very annoying. The snow still irritates me. Is this the Warriors Den? Yeah, it's the Warriors Den. I think. Nope, this is the Medicine Cat. Wait, is it? What is this? This is the medicine catch then, right? Yeah, because there's a lot of herbs everywhere. Wait, is it? I can't tell. Whose dead is this? Oh, this is a nursery. When the nursery, you can't tell the difference between a nursery and a warrior's den. See? Night Watcher, that's how, that's definitely how you, probably how you're going to become a father. You're going to walk into the wrong den. You're going to walk into a nursery, and then that, and then some random cat, is going to be breaking the warrior code, and they're going to be like, Hey, you, you random Tom that just walked in out of nowhere. You're going to follow these kids, and if you don't, I will kill you. But I don't think Night, I don't think Night Watcher would be really threatened by that. I mean, he's Night Watcher, for God's sake. And you, ma'am. Oh my God. Scratch later, P now. And Scratch, she wants to talk to Amersha. She doesn't really, she has literally no wants with her apprentice, but I have to like make her interact with Hazelball. Because I don't really think Snowstorm really wanted an apprentice, because Snowstorm is, you know, blind. And it's kind of, you know, I feel like it's kind of, she kind of feels like it's a burden to her to, oh, look at the two she cats I must take a picture of this. I feel like she thinks it's kind of like a burden to train someone. Well, she one, she's having, she has kits, she's caring for her kits, and two, she's um, she's blind. But Amber Star couldn't think of a, 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 any better cat to train another blind she cat. Uh, I feel like something bad's gonna happen to them though, because you know when, when you're um, a blind blind warrior, they eh? sometimes they can't. They have really good hearing, which makes it, like, you know, easy for them to hunt. And Hazelpaw, the only reason Hazelpaw can, you know, get around it so easily is because when she was a kid, she was kind of walked around the camp a couple times by the other warriors, so then she could, so then she knew where, where to put her paws at. So she didn't fall in, so she wouldn't fall into the pond in the other camp. Oh my god, my watcher, you scared me. I thought I thought it was the dark forest cat coming to haunt us all. Uh, he wants to sn he wants to sniff snowstorm. Mm, no, I thought I I made I just made you sniff her. Or just socialize yourself with her. But he wants to sniff hazel honey paw. What's with you wanting to actually be social with people? It's kind of weird. I never thought of him as being the social type. Always thought of him as being the oh leave me alone type. Did did any of the cats follow him? Did he even leave? No, he he don't think he even left. Y'all need to go back to camp. Ugh. Oh, I'll, I'll make them go back to camp because this episode I'm about to end it. I'm sorry this episode was short. But there's not really much else to do. Except wait for the kids to grow up. I should just age them up myself. I mean, he's on his last day anyway. Let me age him up myself. And he's hungry. Tyson was in here. Here, Tyson. Drop, drop everything. Because I know you have some fish in here. Drop it. Drop the fish. She just had that fish in there for a while. Like, it's probably all frozen. She's like, hey, Gits, you're hungry? Here's some fish. And they're probably gonna stare at her like, 
Why why do you have like this frozen fish? Why are you, or why are you just carrying this frozen fish? And then she's gonna be like, shh, don't worry about it, just eat the fish. Yeah. After he eats, I'll age him up. Cause he is on his last day and I don't wanna wait. The time hasn't changed at all. Like look. Look, the time hasn't changed at all. The time hasn't it's been four PM for like thirty minutes. Like, it's gotten darker, yes, but the change the time hasn't changed at all. It's just kind of weird and a little bit creepy. Here, you can eat this one. Here, go and eat this one. And tiny son, you're still are you still over there trying to comfort your sister? I hate how long it takes the cats and Sims 3 to actually do something with each other. But I feel like that's just the snow getting to them because when it's like new leaf or when it's green leaf or when it's leaf fall they move you know quite smoothly everything moves smoothly but when snow falls on the ground they they act like they're statues come on come on come on see what I mean complete statues complete statues I plan on doing another, a different, um, I plan on doing a different, um, uh, you need to go to sleep. Is that child still here? The newspaper child. This is how I know they, they freeze like statues. Maybe, maybe she's like actually frozen. And does tell to see, uh, Hazel Paul, please tell me you just have to pee. Nope, you were tired, and oh, I'm at the roll for that. Oh, I'm at the roll for you too. Look, is he coming over to? Wait, who is that? Who is that? Is that Thornpaw? I feel like Thornpaw is trying to be a play, a playboy because he's over. Oh my God, everyone's gonna get sick. Everyone's going to get sick. You know what? In the next episode, you're going to see the two kids growing up. I think. Yes, because I, I'm tired. They're tired. They're not moving. I, I don't know what's going on. I'll sit later. And everyone's getting sick. Oh, wait, wait. They're moving. They're moving. They're moving now. Oh, they're moving side by side. That's adorable. But you're still not gonna, you're still not gonna see them growing up until the next episode. And I feel kind of like mad by that, but you know, it's okay. I can wait until then. And actually, probably after I turn off the recording, I'm probably just going to start. I'm probably just going to age them up then. But anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment down below. Well, comment down below, What would? how would you think j would react if you saw his kids? And comment down below. What do you think of dust, dust spice, or apple, or apple tail? Oh, I seriously hope that they don't get together, because dust tail is a, a jerk. But anyway, this is KSAP Gamer signing out. Bye bye. Ow, ow. Oh my god, I, I keep messing up. This is how you know I'm rusty. I keep messing up the recording. Okay, hello, ladies and gentlemen.